Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to go through an example of calculating percent error. Now remember, percent error is a way for us to see how accurate a measurement or estimation is relative to or compared to the actual value. Basically, it's a way for us to see how far off a measurement or estimation is expressed as a percentage. Now to calculate percent error, we take the measured value or estimated value and subtract the actual value. Then we take the absolute value of that result. So if it's negative, it will turn positive. Then we divide that by the actual value. This will give us a decimal. We then multiply the decimal by 100 to convert it to a percent. Let's jump into our example where we have an event planner estimates that there will be 325 guests at an event. 364 guests end up attending the event. Calculate the percent error round to the nearest percent. So let's set this up. We have percent error equals the absolute value of the estimated value. That's 325 minus the actual value. That's 364 divided by the actual value so 364 times 100. Now we can work through this, starting with the subtraction. So 325 minus 364. That gives us negative 39 divided by 364 times 100. Now we need the absolute value of negative 39. That's 39, positive 39. And now we can divide. So we have 39 divided by 364. That gives us 0 0.1073. And that decimal continues on. So I'm going to stop there because we're going to round to the nearest percent. And we need to multiply that decimal by 100. So let's multiply it by 100 in order to convert it to a percent. So we need to move the decimal once, twice to the right. That gives us 10.7. And again, that decimal continues on. So we're going to round to the nearest percent here. And when we round to the nearest percent, we round to the ones place. We have a zero in the ones place with a seven to the right in the tenths. So this rounds to 11%. So our percent error is approximately, and I'm using the approximately symbol here since we rounded, 11%. So that means that the event planner's estimate of 325 guests was off by approximately 11% from the actual amount of guests, 364. So there you have it. There's an example of calculating percent error. If you'd like a more detailed explanation, check out my introduction to percent error. That link is in the description along with other examples. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.